to speak from the heart, but uh, I think I'll just continue as planned. <laughs> all jokes aside, I would like to thank, on behalf of the class of 2010, all the faculty and staff of ASIJ, all the parents, not only ours, but all the ASIJ parents who have collectively raised us over the past 18 years. I'd like to thank the classes preceding us for giving something to look up to, and the classes following us for hopefully looking up to us. And finally, I would personally like to thank each and every one of you sitting before me for allowing me to serve you as a senior class president. We had some great times, many great times, and we had some other times. <laughs> I'd like to thank you. This place, ASIJ, is my second home, and growing up with you guys has been the greatest honor anyone could ever ask for. I think you guys can relate, but as the final weeks of my time as ASIJ approached, I've been overwhelmed by the memories I've made at the school. And I just want to quickly share a couple if that's all right. It was kindergarten. I was hanging out with my buddies from Mr. Pruitt's class. Guys like Charlie Fox, Joe Sunberg, Stan Huntington, Ethan Hallberg, Chris Gino, and this other kid. And I remember walking up to him and pointing at his shirt. And he must have borrowed it from his brother, Jimmy, or Jason, I don't know which. <laughs> but it was huge. It was like a youth large. And I pointed at him, and I told him it looked like a skirt. At which point he began to scream, Mrs. Olsen, he called me a skirt. <laughs> At that point, I didn't see what was wrong with stating my opinions, but apparently it bothered him, I don't know. It's another memory I, I, I had recently. It was third grade, the summer before third grade started, and uh, I was in the swimming pool. I didn't have many friends, so I was timing myself to see how long I could remain underwater. One time when I came up, a large figure loomed over me, and I say large just because I was small. I don't want anyone to get offended. <laughs> and this large figure spoke to me and said, Hi, my name is Kathy. I'm new here. Can you do me a favor and play with my son? Of course, I, being the kind-hearted person that I was, waded over to this tall, skinny kid I've never seen before and asked, Hey, you want to play? To which he promptly replied, Nah. <laughs> for him for a while. And it's weird that these are the memories that I have. And I think I can speak for most when I say that we have made our fair share of misguided and even flat out incorrect judgments of others during our time here. I obviously have. We have all said things that we regret and that may have been hurtful to others. But that's what high school is for, right? But look around you. These are the people that you have spent your whole lives with. They are your brothers and sisters, and like your biological brothers and sisters, even if they sometimes aren't as cool as you want them to be, you're ultimately going to love them, guaranteed. So let us leave this place with the appropriate sentiment toward each other, one of brotherhood and sisterhood, and as corny as it may sound, love. So let me, let me begin by making amends with these two people who I spoke about, who despite the rocky start, have grown with me and become my brothers. I'm um, sorry, I didn't really plan this part, so, uh... Okay, maybe, um... You know who you are. I never meant to be so bad to you. <laughs> One thing I said that I would never do. One look from you and I would fall from grace. And I would wipe the smile right from my face. Right to 
left. 